Hi, welcome to Karen's Pages. My name is Karen and I collect comics and original art. And I have one of my all time favorite comic books in here. Um, it's pretty much a grail. I'm just gonna call it a grail. Everything kind of seems like a grail to me, I know, but I use the term grail very loosely. I mean like top 10 all time, either comic or original art. And this, this comic is at the top of my all time favorite comic book list. Um, for sure. This, this is like, <laughs> this is one of my most favorite comic books. So I cannot wait to open it up. So let's open it up and see what we got. And I've been thinking about you. with me if the vibe is right dynamic like bass when i'm running the mic i'm holding it tight i never was a slave of a hype i can't see myself being the type no matter what they keep on hating because they know that i sound ill and i get down still now they run downhill downhill don't let them bite us put your energy down they're fucking around but 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 never been on fucking around there's something about you i don't like 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 yeah oh yeah something about you i don't like 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 yeah there is something about you the way I like it. Huh, hey, something about you the way I like, like it. And I've been thinking about you, oh, 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 Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Let me, um. Of course, it's taped. Ready? Silver Surfer number four. Oh my gosh, right? Classic John Buscema art um, and his brother Sal Buscema inked over him. Um, this is one of those comic book covers where, I mean, this book could be on a wall with several amazing books and this one would always catch my eye more than anything else. This is like the cover, right? I mean, it is amazing John Buscema art, first off, and it's got, I mean, I love the um, simplicity of this cover where you have just two characters. The background is fairly simple. You've got Thor on the rainbow bridge. The hammer is coming back, ready to strike. And then you have, you know, Silver Surfer coming down from the top. He's like, hurtling through space on his board and it's just it is so awesome so whenever I see this cover I always think of um like this is the moment right before they clash right and then I picture like this giant explosion with like the shockwave ring thing coming out you know like in a movie and uh I don't know it's just so awesome I mean, you don't need to get too complicated on a cover, right? You just need to have some sort of intriguing scene that makes you want to grab the book and open it up and read it, right? So this cover, I think, does that better than any cover, in my opinion. <laughs> it is just so amazing. So I bought this at a Heritage auction, and they had the condition listed as a good plus. So if I have this graded by CGC and it is indeed a good plus, that would be the equivalent of a 2.5. And, you know, this book, it's a square bound book and it's from 1969. So, um, it is in pretty amazing condition for a 2.5. Um, 
I washed my hands before I am opening this. So there's some damage to the cover, obviously. I mean, it's a 2.5. So there's lots of pressable damage actually on the back. There's a little bit of a tear on the edge and some creasing. But, you know, the cover where all of the art is is absolutely beautiful. And really the only color breaking damage is like along the edges, like here there's some finger bends with color breaks and a little bit of spine damage here that's color breaking. And then there's some tears up at the top where it kind of got, I don't know, crunched a little bit. There's, there's kind of like these like three lines that come, that's, it's like, from the, it starts in the trade dress and it comes all the way down to about where Silver Surfer's fingers are. It's like three deep lines in it, but they're not color breaking. I'm wondering if I could actually press that out. The problem is this is a square bound book and they're notoriously hard to press, but maybe. Um, And the colors, the colors are so vibrant in this copy. It's, it's just incredible. I mean, there's a little bit of dirt um, on Silver Surfer, and there usually always is with these books. So I'm wondering if I can clean that off a bit. And it also looks like it might have some grease pen or something on the 25 cent. Yeah, I mean these these Yeah, I mean these square bound books are notorious for having like really bad spine splits and just really bad spines, but this one actually looks pretty nice. Wow. So, you know, this book is really expensive in the mid to high grade. So, you know, I decided to get a lower grade book, but I mean, even at a 2.5, this book just looks amazing. So, um, and there might be some things I can press out of the book and make it even better. So, um, that's pretty awesome. And then, you know, pressing a 2.5 is a little, easier than pressing, you know, something that's like a seven or something higher. So, um, yeah. Oh, interesting. I always wondered how they did that uh, with the staples. It's like the staples are on the inside. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I've never had a square bound book before like this. So um, it's like they, the staples are actually on the inside of the cover. They're actually right here. There's a little bit of rust on this one. <laughs> and there's Loki. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, maybe maybe I should flip through this. It's pretty cool. I mean, how often do you see this raw, right? Okay, let's flip through it. <laughs>
reasons why I like Silver Surfer number four so much is because I absolutely love John Buscema's art and how he draws Thor and Silver Surfer, um, but particularly Thor, because Thor is one of my favorite characters. He's kind of right up there with Daredevil. Um, and so I have a couple of pages in my collection that um, John Buscema penciled and Chick Stone inked. And actually, there are only a few issues of Thor that John Buscema and Chick Stone worked on together. So it's really cool to have um, two pages from um, Buscema and Chick Stone. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show those pages real quick. Um, this page is from Thor 283. I actually showed this page on Ruben de Collector's show and tell number 17, um, where I tell how I got into comics and original art collecting and show several pieces from my original art collection. And I have a link to that episode in my um, YouTube homepage. So definitely check that out. Um, leave Ruben a thumbs up and a comment. I'm sure he would appreciate it. And the other Thor page that I have in my collection is from 284. So I'm going to go through both pages um, panel by panel real quick, just so you can see um, the art a little bit better. It's a little difficult to see when I just kind of hold it up like this. So this is an absolutely spectacular page. I mean, I love how Busema draws Thor and his angular face. He draws him a little bit more muscular, I think, than Kirby did. Um, and his poses are always so dynamic. I love how he's swinging his hammer around in this panel and flying above the city in this one. Then he looks like he's coming out of the page in this panel. And then he kind of drops down because he slams the hammer down. Just classic Thor. And then, of course, the storm starts gathering over the city. So much detail. And one of my favorite pages in my collection. This um, top transformation sequence is pretty amazing. It's Dr. Blake turning into Thor. I love all the details in his face. And then so dynamic as he's throwing the cane down and he's changing into Thor and the light comes up from the bottom and the transformation is complete. The cane is now Thor's hammer and Dr. Blake is Thor. And even when Thor is just standing around with Dr. Damien, you know, there's so much incredible detail in the page and the figure work is just amazing. And a nice close up of Thor's face. Again, I absolutely love how Busema draws Thor's face. It's a little more angular than Kirby did it. Very cool. And then Ajak actually makes an appearance on this bottom panel. And there's an, a lot of nice detail just in this one panel with all the background and Ajak, Thor, Dr. Damien. And then the page ends with a really nice close up shot of Ajak's face. Just a really, really nice page. I am super happy to add Silver Surfer number four to my comic collection. And I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of John Buscema Chickstone original Thor art. And thanks for watching to the end of this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Maybe I could just say, it's grail time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, nice catch. Wow.
You know what? I forgot to do it. I forgot to make stand up. Oops. We're going to put you subby. Pages of original art that I showed on Ruben to Collectors show and tell number 17. Um, and on that show, I actually show a lot of my, <laughs> how many times can I say show? Um, these almost look like claw marks, like from a dog or something where someone maybe just had this laying on the floor and the dog ran across it or something. <laughs> like it's pretty crazy. I can't believe I own this book now. I mean, it's, it's absolutely spectacular. <laughs>